I was invited to a young man's birthday party by a family in Rajasthan. The tradition and cultures of Rajasthan is very different. They live a very strict lifestyle, but they are used to it. So you cannot judge how they live their lives. They are cooking all this goat meat on the roof of my friend's friend because today it's one of their children's birthday. So my friend decided to buy them two kilograms of fresh goat meat. They use firewood to cook this. So firstly, in the pan, they added soya bean oil, let it heat up. And before it started boiling, they added onions and started frying the onions. After that, they added some chili. Now you can see it's all turning brown. The chef is preparing now to add some tomatoes and is going to mix it all for the next five minutes. It's just sizzling nicely. So the onions are turning brown, fresh chili chopped up in there, soya bean oil, no butter here, and then tomatoes in there. The mutton is waiting near his feet over there and more chili that will be added on. Now he's going to add more crushed garlic. Mm, the smell is so nice. I wish you were here. The smell is just so beautiful. Let me show you, this is on the roof, the city, but it's dark because it's at night. The entire roof, let's see. And the thing is, when you're on the roof here, you, you still have to be more careful. So there's a wire right here in front of me. So if you're not careful, you could simply get garroted because this is right on my neck right here, this wire. We're getting ready for the party. Joe has brought some beer. The only white boy on the roof in Rajasthan. <laughs> the only white boy on the street, maybe? Yeah, yeah, probably. See, me, I just blended with Indian people. They all think I'm Hindi. I think my skin color and the shape of my head just makes them think that I'm Hindi. Because they don't eat beef, cow meat, they eat camel, their desert transport. So once they've used the camel in the desert and they don't want the camel anymore, they just make barbecue out of the camel. That's one thing that I like in India, that anything goes. Well, while we're busy on this rooftop, watching the bear prepare uh, this goat mutton, because that's what they eat here in, uh, in India. They eat goat meat, lamb, chicken, they don't eat beef. A cow is a very respected animal. It provides a lot for the Indian community, for their religion. That's where they get their milk. That's where they get their yogurt. That's where they get their um, cheese, their cream, their ghee, their butter. Uh, so you can see cows walking everywhere. So here, it's only mutton tonight. Oh, let's just enjoy seeing them making their um, mutton. See, now they're adding the spices in there. Look at the onions, it looks nice and brown. So they're adding the masala mixed spices salt. with the salt. And See, the mutton is still not being added in there. They're making the sauce first. And this time there is no ghee, no butter, no milk, no cream, nothing. Just the spices with onions, tomatoes, ginger, no, not ginger, garlic, and chili. And this they are saying it's going to cook for a total of 15 minutes. So far, I think it's been 12 minutes. And they will be adding, he will be adding, not they, he will be adding goat meat in a bit. The goat meat has been chopped up into small pieces. What he just added there, this is cow poo, dried cow poo. Look at this. That's dried cow poo that they're using for the fire. Why do you put cow poo here? Chara saath mein dal ke food, uh, vegetables food. Um, mix uh, a nice flavor or oh, a nice smell uh -huh. so apparently that cow poo that's burning is to add a bit of flavor the smell is going to be a little bit different with dried cow poo no wonder why there's dry cow poo on the roof here they put it on the roof just to dry it up and they use it for their cooking interesting as they will say in russian interesting i think the cow poo is used so that so that it smells a little bit smoky this food will probably smell look at the fire that the cow poo is making that's a dried cow poo imagine that well this is india my friends the color of the onions with garlic tomatoes chili it's looking different it's looking spicy hello my darling hello Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Yes. Now the mutton is ready. Uh, Look. Uh, one, one. Yeah, Fish. one at a time. Yeah. yeah. They put the mutton on that. bit by bit. They don't just throw in a lot of the mutton in there. Slowly, slowly. You can see all the onions, tomatoes, ginger, the spices, the fresh chili. Okay, okay. Has been cooked with the spices. Looks all nice and red. Now we just the mutton. When I'm watching Indian people cook like this, it's just like how they cook in the Caribbean. We normally mix our spices with onions and tomatoes and ginger and garlic, and then we add the meat later on. We add the meat once we show that the onions and the tomatoes have been cooked nicely. Another piece is down here. It fell. Joe, there's this one. Oh, no problem. Now they are almost done cooking the goat mutton. Look how it looks. It looks tasty, but I can't eat it because I'm allergic to all red meat. I can only eat fish or chicken and veggies. I'm almost a vegetarian or vegan. I stop eating chicken and fish, then I'll be a fully certified vegan. The table is ready. A royal stag, okay. Jay Mataji. Jay Mataji. Yeah. Jay Mataji. Cheers. What did you add on here? Masala. Vinegar? Masala. Masala. Mm. Tomato. I thought the tomato tastes different. Yeah, it's this masala, you see? Mmm. Watch this on my trouser. Watch your sit down. This is like Rajasthani salad with, with masala. Rajasthani culture. With masala. Mm. This is the masala. Okay. Tastes good. Ginger, lemon, everything. Kacha, mango, raw mango. So you like, you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like kacha ice pop, kacha ice cream. Yeah, mango. That's you. Mm. Where's that? Uh, Your village? Two years ago. Oh, two years ago, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the po politician? Yes. I met him in Kuri. Around the same body. Mm. The tradition and cultures of Rajasthan is very different. They live a very strict lifestyle, but they are used to it, so you cannot judge how they live their lives. I had such a wonderful, wonderful time. I was busy upstairs making this video, but I managed to take a few photos, which I will be sharing here of this wonderful, amazing family in Rajasthan. The young man will come sit with us, and then he will go back to join the ladies who were downstairs. And this was a very big surprise. The main shocker at the party was that the men prepared a goat, goat meat. After cooking everything, they all sat on the roof, they ate, had a lovely birthday celebration without a single woman. The women were downstairs on the ground floor, eating their chipatis and their veggies. In the Rajasthan culture, women are discouraged from eating goat meat. So goat meat is a man's food. Women will be eating vegetables. If you like the video, please share, like, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.